morning. So I'm going to start with good morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow and welcome. Welcome to the Hollow. Okay. Um, it's Wednesday, November 22nd. We were supposed to podcast yesterday, but we were both kind of sick yesterday. Me more than Helen. So, um, it was just not the day. We did not. Uh, however, we're feeling better now. And um, we're here to wish you happy Thanksgiving for anybody who celebrates Thanksgiving and chat with you. Happy Sweet. Thursday to everybody else. Right. We got stuff to show you. We got good stuff to yeah. show you. Really good stuff to show you. Um, I'm going to start with, we got happy mail yesterday. And one of our customers stitched this for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Oh my God. It's and so perfect. It's so fantastic. The amount of, we know the amount of work that goes into doing something like that. And, and then, then sending it off in the mail to somebody. Right. And she so finished it all by herself. A friend of hers had a gun, a manual gun that shoots the tacks into the back of the wood. Oh, wow. So that okay. she did that. But she also stitched it and pinned it. She did everything. Oh, and this did the lacing on the so back and everything. well put together. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks amazing. And it's the first thing that she fully finished by herself, which is just, um, we're so honored We're so honored. We really are. That you sent it to us. So this is going up in the sewing room. Um, as soon, We wanted to show it, but now it's going to go up on the sewing room wall because right. that's where it belongs. Okay. Well, let's talk FOs because right. somebody finished something. I knit up the mouse marzipan hat from uh, Helen Stewart's knit vent collection this year. I guess mouse ears. I used um, silver bells from our Pink Santa collection. And it took me two days, three days, maybe three days to knit it up. It knits up so fast. You did it so quickly. Um, and it's not like I just sat there and knit for three days straight. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um, it has little mouse ears. Of course. It has little ear flaps. It sits very well on your head. I knit the large. Uh, it uses DK. And I knit the large. How many um, stitches is for the large? 104. Okay, so is it 96 for the medium? I don't know. That's what I'm doing for the house, the hat that okay. I'm doing. I'm doing the medium size. I'm going to show you that in just yeah. a minute. But um, so I was wondering. So when I was doing it, I'm just knitting along, knitting along because you know you get, you you do the ears and then you do the the ribbon everything, mm -hmm. and then it's just straight stocking it in the round. Um, and I'm I got to a point. I'm like, I sh since it's supposed to sit tight on your head, okay, to show the ears. I should probably be decreasing really soon because it's just <laughs> a very soon. big hat. So I stopped. Um, I have all the notes on my Ravelry page, which I will link down below. Um, I stopped before the pattern was done okay. and jumped to the decreases, and it's still too deep um, to really show the mouse ears properly. But it sits very nicely on my head, and it covers your ears very, very well with the little flaps. Um, it's the first one I've knit with these. Um, so, so I would be interested in, in doing it again in, in, in maybe one of the other colors and doing it in yeah, the median. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of uh, it, what happens with the medium. is, And she specifically states in the pattern mm -hmm. that she designed it to sit tight on the head for the ears. So I'm not sure what kind of gigantor heads the large is meant for. I, do. I mean, the circumference of the head uh, was... Fit my head, but okay. um, yeah. So well, one of the reasons I'm going to be interested to see is because you're doing it in DK. The two that I have done so far, the one that I finished and the one that I'm in the midst of doing, I'm doing the 96 stitches, which is the medium size, but I'm doing it in Aran weight, not DK weight. Right. So I'm going to I'm going to be interested to see how the DK fits versus the Aran. Is the Aran a tighter fit? You know, because it's larger yarn. I'm just really knitting, interested knitting to see tighter, yeah. um, how it's going to go. And then do we just know that for Helen Stewart's hats, 96 stitches, that's right. what you do. Yeah. So, um, but super quick knit. It's beautiful. Super fun gift. If, you, if, you need, if you're looking for a gift. Knit. Yeah, that, no, that's a really, really pretty. I will say that the only thing is you have to buy the entire knit vent collection. Okay. To, to do it. 
But well, if you do, then you can also work on the Turkish Delight Shawl that I am working right. on because it all fits together with the Pink Santa collection. So that is in Silver Bells from Pink Santa. Yes. Which, look at, I mean, it's just lovely soft silver. It really is. And I thought for a mouse. Oh, um, absolutely. It's perfect. So maybe I will take brown paper packages and knit that up in the medium to see. Okay. All right. Well, moving on with um, Pink Santa, I am doing the Turkish Delight Shawl, and I am doing it in the Pink Santa colorway. I saw the Santa come in just then. Silver Bells and Candy Canes. Those are the three that I have put in so far. I'm going to be adding in Icicles, which is the blue, and Brown Paper Packages, which is the brown. I'm going to have all five of them in here. This is where I am so far. This is where I was the last time I showed you. It's gorgeous. So I've added in Silver Bells for the lace section. I'm doing all the garter in-betweens in Pink Santa, and then this lace section here is Pink Candy Canes. Are the lace sections the same? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. They're the same size. And, and the same pattern. The same pattern. It's just you're adding more stitches. This is going to be a triangle shaped shawl. Uh, tri no, they're all. It's a sail shaped shawl. Um, Which we love to wear. I do. They're the ones that I find easiest for me to stylize. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm almost done this garter section, and then I'm going to be adding in the next lace color which is going to be brown paper packages and then I do another garter section and then on the last lace section will be icicles which is the blue color and then I will wind up with a final garter. So it's got this really pretty detail along the side and the side. Neat. Yeah. It's just it's a really really pretty shawl. It's so easy to do. The lace patterns even the lace sections are not difficult to follow along. Um, it's usually like an eight stitch, six or eight stitch, maybe 10 stitch. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's not a very long stitch repeat. thing, repeat, and you just do the same thing from start to finish. Um, and then the garter is a piece of cake. So just, I really, really enjoy working on this. So now she... Her pattern calls for it to be DK. Right. But you're just following the pattern but using fingering. Right. So okay. she yelled, uh, she yelled, she held, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she held sport and a mohair together to make it, um, to make a DK weight. Uh, and she did it in one color. So I'm off the rails all over the place. Right. I haven't changed any of the actual pattern yet, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't particularly like wearing DK weight shawls. I like fingering weight shawls. So for me, I thought I'm just going to do it in the fingering and see what happens with it. So far, I've done three out of the five garter sections, and this is my first skein of Pink Santa. So you, you I think I'm going to make it with just one. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I'm going to make it with just one. Um, and then the, uh, the lace weights are really, I mean, you're doing like 20 grams at most, right? Um, well here, do you want to weigh that? Helen is going to weigh that for me. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do them with 20 gram fingering. So if you wanted to do this and get one skein of pink Santa and then the mini skein set, you would be more than covered because any deficit that I'm going to have in pink Santa, you'll have the mini skein to go for the, that as right. the fifth one. So um, if you wanted to do it the way I am doing it, I'm pretty sure you can get it done with one skein, one full skein of Pink Santa and the mini skein set. Okay. On that note, yes. today is the last day to- <laughs> Go order now. To pre-order um, your Pink Santa collections and have it shipped by the first week of December. Um, we will have a couple extra skeins after we're done the final dye, but the mini skeins is going to be iffy as to whether we're going to actually have extra minis left or not. Um, yes. Especially fingering weight because they're going right now. They're going and uh, it Keep looks like it's to add to the the dye list. <laughs> it's going to be like an even 
number that we're right. doing, so we're not going to necessarily have extra of the fingering weight minis. So, um, yeah, if you want to ensure that you can get exactly what you want, today's the last day to put your order in. Right. And, um, and I will we're gonna say, next, early next week, we do fill in pans. Like, if we usually do four or five to a pan, and if we only need three, then we fill in the extra two. Um, we always do it in fingering or DK. We never do it in bulky sweater or 100%. Right. So if you want any of those three, make sure you put in your order because we will never fill in with those. Yeah, they'll never be. Yeah, right. Yeah, they'll never be extras. The those. fingering and DK is always, they're always the ones that people are coming back and getting. The, the other three are more specific. Um, and since we don't want extra yarn lying around, um, it's we try and dye those specifically right. to what people want. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, come get it now. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to show what else you're working on? Sure. <laughs> no, Hugo does not want it. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, so I finished up my hat and um, it was getting very very cold outside, so I decided I wanted a pair of mittens. So I grabbed a skein of dahlias in bulky and I found a pattern. It's called the herringbone mitts pattern, which I'll put right here. Um, and I started them. So this is as far as I've gotten. I adore this color. I'm going oh, to have a, a sweater in this color at some point. So now are these going to be mittens or fingerless mitts? No, these are going to be mittens. They're mittens, I, mittens. I have my fingerless mitts. Do you um, have him on um, with his Santa hat? Yes, I do. <laughs> Christmas. I saw Helen's watch face and it's Hugo with his Santa hat on. And it's very cute. Anyway, go um, ahead. So, uh, okay. Adore the color. Right. Okay, so full, mi full mittens. Full mittens. Right. Um, and it's a really cool stitch pattern that I, I hate love knitting. This. I love the, the basket. The, yeah. She calls it the basket stitch okay. for the ribbing. Um, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Not really enjoying the herringbone stitch <laughs> at all. Okay. Um, it's a lot of um, knit. Uh, there, there's one row where you're doing knit two together, but you only drop the first stitch and then you knit again into the second stitch. Okay. Um, and passing stitches over, and I'm working on size 11 needles. Oh my god. Which... They're huge. <laughs> um, so I'm to the point of starting to do the, the thumb gusset. Um, so I just, I had put it aside to... To you do when to I was two at a time when I could pay attention. Oh, it's not wound right. It's not wound right, and um, the the with the bulky weight, I'm not sure the needles are long enough. Okay. So I just I thought you know what I'm gonna bulky weight. I'm gonna knit them really fast. Oh, that's true. That that's very true. true. So um, yeah, I adore the color. I wanted to knit something up in Dahlia so that we could show what the color looks like. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. All these pinks together. So that's just where I and am. Sweaters and those. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm looking for a comfy cardigan that I want to knit. Up. Oversized. Oversized. Um, just something you could throw on in the house. So I'm. I'm uh, on the hunt for that kind of pattern. When it gets kind of chilly in the castle, throwing a big comfy cardigan over your shoulders right. is really, really nice. Um, I saw one that's, uh, is like a brioche one that's knit out of bulky weight. Okay. Um, so. Sorry. Right. Well, that's the thing. And then I'm like, oh, don't be afraid. No, don't. Um, and so it's just a matter of picking the right pattern, and then I'll dye the yarn up for it. But it will, it may be pink dahlias. Okay. That I knit it in. Well, I think that would be very, very fitting for you. Because, you know, if you think of a big, comfy, cozy color oh, again yes. in the bulky way, yes. it would be It would be really, perfect. I mean, you need a lot of it, but. Yeah. Um, Luckily, you know the dye. Right. You, so we can do it. Um, okay, very so, cool. Yeah. So the. The ribbing, do you do that on 11s too, or do you do that no, on a, a uh, The ribbing is on a 9. Oh, okay, and then you jump to an 11. Right, so okay. I have the, the 9s. 
Okay. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. The hat that I am working on, I couldn't show you before. This is the montage hat from this last year's. Probably 2022 Niffin. It, it was either 2022 or 2021 Niffin. It was one of, no, maybe 2022. Because I think Tchaikovsky was 2021. It'll be available as a, buy, single. as a single pattern. So you can buy it. Um, but I couldn't show it to you because I was knitting it up in November's Disney yarn. And I couldn't show that until everybody got theirs. But I know that every, I'm pretty sure everybody's gotten theirs yet by now. So um, we can show you what the yarn is. So this month for November, we spun the wheel and it landed on Peter Pan. So we did Peter Pan and this is our November Disney yarn. This will be available to everybody beginning in December. So if you love this or you're a huge Peter Pan fan right. and you want to get it and make something in it, December. It's coming in December. But this is what it looks like caked up. So not and Aaron or Bulky? This is Aaron. It looks like Aaron, yeah. This is Aaron. Um, and this is what it looks like knitting up. Oh my God, this is such a fun hat. Look at those colors. I love the orange and the red just coming in in a diagonal. I know. So cool. It's just, and I love this here. Yeah. With the, the stripe going like that. So um, this is... So many cables. <laughs> she showed me the pattern. She's like, I think I'm going to do this pattern. I'm like, oh, that's cable. Mm -hmm. and she's like, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to tell kind you. Of on... I'm not going to tell you you don't like cabling. Mm -hmm. but I'm kind of on a, I, kind, I want to knit all Helen Stewart's knit vent hats. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm doing this, but. It's a lot of cables. It's a lot of cables. This is. Because you knit two st stitches and do a cable. Knit two stitches and do a cable. <laughs> it's like every two stitches. Um, it's really easy to do because it's... And it looks fantastic. I mean, it's worth the work. You put two stitches on the cable needle, do the other two, and then knit the last two. So, I mean, it's it's really very, very simple to follow along. Um, it's just making sure that you get, you know, this one is you put it in front and this one is you put it in back. And she's got it written out nicely so that you can do it. But that's the way it looks right now. I am about 75% done. I have, I think, three more cable things to do. Um, rows or sections? Um, I would think rows because you got to be Sections. It, it's, you do a cable, you do the cable and then you knit three rounds. Okay. And then you do the cable and you knit three rounds. Okay. So um, I think I have two more of... The cable in front and one more of the cable in back and the nine rows that go with it and then i start decreasing rows. yeah okay but i mean so if you, you think have. about it no it's i think it's going to be a tight one but if you think about it it's still got a ways to go okay you know yeah because this has got to be down here yeah so yeah. it's still got a little bit to go um when i was first started doing this i was like oh that is tiny that's not gonna fit me but i'm i'm Following the form because the other hat that I did, the Tchaikovsky hat, is one of the best fitting hats I've ever done. So, and when you do this, it's really yeah, it stretches really out. Stretches. So I think we're all we're good. So that's the way it looks right now. By the time we do the next podcast, I really hope to be done this. Um, I was putting in a bit of time on my shawl because I really wanted to show you the pink knitted in. Um, so I was putting a lot of attention on that, but. And then, you know, being sick and everything, it just... Yeah. Okay. If you haven't ordered the Disney yarn yet and you think, oh, I really like what they've done with Mickey Mouse and Peter Pan and you want to be a part of the Disney yarn of the month, you have to order this by the 28th? 25th. 25th. By, by Saturday uh, to be get it as December's as a mystery. Right. So. so if you order by the 25th this Saturday, then you'll get be as part of the mystery and we'll send it out to you. If you haven't ordered it yet and you want it, make sure you do. Right. Otherwise, um, we'll dye it, send it to the people who get it as a mystery, and then we'll show it to you towards the end of December and it will be avail available for everybody the beginning of January. Right. But Peter, Peter Pan, will be available to everybody on all different bases. December Beginning December 1st. 1st. Yeah. Okay. 
And then the other thing that's going to be available December 1st is our other book club, which... Our other yarn club, which is... yarn club, my God. <laughs> has to do with books. It's our favorite books, yarn club. Um, and the book that we chose for the month of November is... Helen's going to put a picture right here. Winter Solstice. Right. By... Um, Rosamond Pilcher. Rosamond Pilcher. So, book club. We are going to be reading, or I am going to be reading, Winter Solstice when I knit something up in this yarn because it's one of my favorite books. Um, but this is the yarn. And, oh my god. It's still a little damp, hence the shower curtain ring. But uh, it's got this blue right here. That blue yeah. is just... So the soft icy blue, a little gray... Deep plummy purples. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It is. So I have to figure out what I'm going to knit with it. I know. I can't wait to make something out of it because I really, it's hanging in the dining room drying and it's just so beautiful. And every time I walk by, I just kind of pat it and think, <laughs> I'm going to make something with you, I promise. So uh, October's favorite book was Remarkably, Remarkably Bright Creatures. November was Winter Solstice. And if you want to be part of December's club, you have to order that one by November 30th. So Disney by November 25th, favorite books by November 30th. You've already lost out on December's Denizens. That's going out next week. Right. However, November's Denizen. So November's Denizen was Phineas the Deer. He enters the hollow and all the birds greet him by sitting in his antlers to show how much they appreciate him. And this is the yarn. So this is what the Mystery Club got uh, in November. And, and this is going to be available December 1st. Somebody is making socks out of these. And she put up the picture in Crafting with the Toads. And it's going to be at the end of this video. It should be at the end of this video so you can see how it looks knit up. It's beautiful. Right. It's really beautiful. So um, all the November clubs... The mysteries are available on December 1st. Right. So these will be the listings of De December 1st. So Phineas, Winter Solstice, Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. Okay. That oh. was clear as mud. All right. Moving right along. Do you want to show your other projects? Uh, yes. So I just want to quick show my progress on my Impressionist shawl, which I am doing with balloon confetti. Balloon Garden and Teal and Peggy. Um, this is a Helen Stewart pattern. I am about halfway done. This was originally a, about five or six years ago, a mystery knit along. Um, and I'm just about done clue two. Just about done. That's a big fat lie. I'm about halfway done to clue <laughs> okay. two. But... Oh my word. All the colors are in. Oh my word. Okay. Look at that. God, that's beautiful. Yeah. You would think they would die to go together. <laughs> I was worried that the teal was coming across too dark. Okay. To go with the others, but I think it's a really good contrast. I think it is. Um, and look how it is pulling these. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is just gorgeous. So that is my impression of I am about to go into a very heavy lace section where she strongly suggests you put markers in for each okay. section. Um, so that, you know, the first couple of times I did it, I was like, <laughs> I'm a professional knitter. Right, I, don't I don't need, need to markers. do this. And then I took out like so many shawls and I put them in. It, it, do you know what? At the most, okay. Let's see if I can spit words out. Um, what it does more than anything for me is if I make a mistake, I know it's in that section. Yes. So and that's that if huge. each section comes out correctly, then you know you're doing it. And it's not that you get to the end of the row and it's like, 
Somewhere in this Somewhere. 283 stitches, I'm say, I'm there over, is a mistake. I am over 350 already. Okay, so uh, somewhere in this 350 stitches, there is a mistake, mistake, and you know it will be all the way at the I beginning, say, and you will have to take out everything. <laughs> Start <laughs> looking at the beginning. Don't look at the end, because you know it's, it's all the like way It's like when, you're doing, when you're doing the Christmas lights. Right. And one is out, so the whole thing is out. Always start at the beginning right. <laughs> because that's the one that's going to be out. Um, but anyway, yes. So it just keeps you honest for each, you know, 17-stitch repeat or whatever. Right. It just it makes it so much easier. But I adore the colors. It's Oh, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. <sighs> we were watching Fat Squirrel and Amy has... Um, Amy Beth has her, she films in front of her staircase, and then she has her banister coming down and all the shawls draped over the banister. Right. And I was thinking, you know, I have a banister. <laughs> I have shawls. I have shawls. We may be decorating the banister with shawls. It is winter. -ish. And you just go by and grab whichever shawl strikes your fancy, and it's very easy to just right. toss it back up. And we are beginning to remember fondly. How chilly the castle is. Yes. It hasn't even been that cold yet. Okay. All right. You have one more thing to show, right? I do. I do not have anything else because all my other stuff is in pieces. So okay. I have one cross stitch thing to show because it's finished. This is my bear in the tree. This was my one of my November whip go poles. I'm folding back. This is a Madame Chantilly pattern. Okay. And he's pulling out puzzle. Look at him. He's so cool. He's a little bit. I love him so much. She does bears really, yeah. really well. So now I just have to figure out how I'm going to fully finish him, whether I put him in a hoop. Or a frame. I'm kind of leaning towards a frame, I think. Okay. Um, you know, a cheapo-ish frame that I get and we just pull them out for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Kind of thing. Definitely. Um, Doesn't even have to be cheapo-ish. We right. can, you know, splurge a little bit. But he's fantastic. He is. And I'm so glad we went and found him so he could go on the whip go and... It was serendipity that he got pulled up in November, so that I oh, finished him in yeah. November. Um, I haven't really worked on my other November whip go at all, but I still have a couple days left for the month. We should get a frame quickly and put him up for this year's Christmas. Oh, yeah. So so I just have to measure him out and see right. exactly what size frame I need. Okay. Um, so you will see him again once I f fully finish him. But uh, Oh, he is awesome. He's fantastic. He's really, really cool. I love her patterns. So do I. And I love the fact that now she does them uh, as PDFs. So oh, makes it so much easier. Uh, this one was not a PDF, so I had to take the picture and put it in my good notes. But that it's a piece of cake, too. Yeah. Finishing things. There's so many of hers that we bought that we I want to do. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm focusing on the two that I have for Whipco, which I will show at the end of the month, which is next week. On next week's podcast. Unbelievable. Or maybe two weeks. I'll take it to the end and then um, show it at the beginning of December. But, okay. All right. So the only other thing we have to talk to you about is nice segue with framing. Right. Um, Helen finally made it down to visit our friend Paige the Framer to pick up some of the things that we had framed from her. And some of them are a year old or a year plus that she has been holding on to them for us for. This is the one that's a year plus. I finished this last year and sent it to her and she framed it for me. Again, Madame Chantilly. And we now have spring, summer, winter, and fall. Um, spring is almost done. Yes. So winter and fall are in the queue to be done, uh, to be worked on, but that is, we're gonna have all of them. So that's my summer ice lemonade. I love it. I really love it. And she did go in the kitchen. an amazing job. Yeah such an amazing job with it. I mean, honestly, it looks gorgeous. 
I originally had it framed thinking of the beach house, but it's going to work beautifully here as yeah. well. So I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, and then I had bought some posters um, to put around the sewing room, which as Helen pointed out, the sewing room isn't that big. <laughs> there aren't that many walls, but uh, we're going to put them around the house. And they are by, um, what's her name? Is it on there? Wade? No. It's right here. Let me. Oh, uh, Wade Studios. It's Elizabeth Wade Studios. That's what it is. All right. So she does maps, um, watercolor maps, and you can buy them in posters. My good friend Claire got me a tea towel for my birthday. I showed that for my, one of my birthday presents. I had gotten the posters a while ago and sent them down to Paige, and Paige framed them for us. And so this is Anne of Green Gables. Can we? Well, yeah, I'm oh, just gonna let them get okay. Them. Can you come closer? Okay, there. So this is Anne of Green Gables, and then we got the Hundred Acre Wood. I'm turning it at an angle because I'm trying to keep it, the window from reflecting in it. But there's the Hundred Acre Wood. one's Alice. And then the fourth was Mary Poppins. And that's what Mary Poppins looks like. We sent them down to Paige and then we did a Zoom meeting with her and she showed us frames and we matched them color-wise and everything. I'm so pleased with the way they turned out. They're so perfect yeah. for us. They're just beautiful. Um, and I can't wait to get them up on the walls because they just, I picked four books that meant a lot to us as far as reading when we were younger. And just looking at them, I'm just looking at the Mary Poppins and the gingerbread stars and that kind of thing. And the, the chapter that was Mary Poppins hanging the, the foil from the gingerbread stars that became the night sky. I mean, it's just, there's so many good things. My mom read it to us when we were little. So, and then I read it again afterwards. I love them. So I'm really excited to get them up. Then I had another poster that I had bought a long time ago. We were just waiting to get framed, so. It says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love him so much. He is so cool. Um, and then in the Zoom meeting, she when we were talking to her, I never would have probably picked a black frame, but she kept showing us, and I'm like, nah, it's, this is what's going to work. Yeah. So um, she's got to go up somewhere. And, and then, then when, when I showed up, um, she had it all laid out for us. And I was looking at them and I'm like, oh my God, they're all so perfect and everything. And I'm like, but I said, I could have sworn, didn't I send you the possum? And she's like, she didn't want to give me my possum back. Because he's so good. So this is my banjo playing possum. Moonshine drinking possum. Oh my God. Corn cud chewing. <laughs> Honestly, you think about how good this cross stitch is, but then with the matting and the framing, right. it's amazing. It really is. So this was a Mama Witch cross stitch pattern. Um, I don't, so do I. She did such a fantastic job. So if you guys want to get stuff done by page, you send it to her in the mail. You get on a Zoom call meeting with her. You, she goes over all the different options with you. And then she sends it back to you. I mean, we went and picked it up because we it's ridiculous. And we wanted to see her. But um, you can have her just mail it back to you. And it's, right. it's fantastic. Um, she is running right now a sale on her gift cards. So um, she's running 20% off her gift cards. So if you buy a $100 gift card, you pay $80 for it. And um, it's a great gift idea, but also if you are thinking of framing something in the future, buy yourself a gift card now and you're saving 20%. Right. Um, so she said to um, 
go to her website and email her if you're interested. The sale runs through Saturday. Midnight um, on Saturday the 25th. Right. So she is in, Point. if you are local, she is in Point Pleasant. Um, so you can always mail stuff down to her and then go pick it up if you want. But uh, as Marva said, if you're not local, she does stuff all the time where she's having people ship them their, her cross stitch and then she ships it back fully framed and right. everything. So. so if you were thinking of doing this, anybody who's doing cross stitch or anything like that, and you're thinking of getting it framed, this is a great way to get it framed by right. someone who really, really knows what they're doing. Um, and if you're not sure what you're doing yet, but you want to, you know, you want to use her now, it's time to do it to just buy yourself a gift card and then you're saving set. 20%. Right. So it goes through small business Saturday, um, which is the Saturday. Oh God, I can't believe it's the Saturday. I know that used to be such a big day for us. But anyway, um, yeah, no, it goes through this Saturday. So take advantage of it. Right. Cause really it's, she Amazing. does such a fantastic job. The job that she did. They're gorgeous. And going through everything step by step and picking out the colors and the right kind of frame because we want simpler. We don't want ornate, that kind of thing. It's just, she's got it all. And she's she doing my spring moon for me right now. So. Okay. The moon will be making an appearance. Yeah. All right. I think that does it. I think so. I think that's a lot to throw at you. But, um, yeah. Big things. Pink Santa. Pre-order today. Disney, Saturday, book of the month, the 30th. Right. So Okay. And we will be back uh, Friday where we're doing uh, some stitching and chatting right. on our live stream at noon. Okay. It's so if you time. like would like to join us, uh, come join us at noon, live Eastern. No, oh, my God. The words just are, the words are right. They're just in the <laughs> wrong order. Um, come join us, noon, Eastern Standard Time. We will be live. You can chat with us. And um, if you like the pre-recorded ones, stick to Tuesdays because we usually put them up then. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Happy Thanksgiving. We have to, once this is done, that's go, into, to go into Thanksgiving mode. Yep. We're going to oh. be cleaning and cooking. Sister number three is bringing the turkey and the stuffing. Right. We're doing everything else. So... Um, we're doing everything else. I mean, she's got the bird. Yeah, but. she's got the hard stuff. <laughs> she's got the really hard stuff. But uh, she's coming tomorrow with the bird. Um, but anyway, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yes. Go. And go ahead. Go forth and create. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.